All right, so here we are ready to make our actual negative shape image. So I have my white piece of paper. I have my Spider-Man image that I went ahead and got cut out very, very neatly from the newspaper or magazine. I have a glue stick here that you can see it says restickable. It's going to be super important that we only use these restickable glue sticks. I also have my paint tray ready to go. I have the colors blue and orange because they're complementary colors, which means I'm going to be changing my intensity this time, and we'll talk about that in a little bit later on. So start off with, I have Spider-Man. He's all cut out. He's ready to go. So the first thing I need to do is take my glue stick and carefully just glue all over him. Now I'm doing it on the table. You guys are going to do it on a piece of paper so that it doesn't get stuck and you don't have a big mess to clean up. But just, you know, we don't want to glob the glue on, but we want to make sure that we get it all the way to the edges, especially on little details like his fingers and things like that. All right, so now I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to carefully put my Spider-Man right where I want him to go. Make sure I have him stuck down good. Again, it's using that repositionable glue stick. So he's going to be held in place, but not forever and ever. Now, with my paint tray, I am going to start to mix my colors up. Now, we're doing intensity, so I have to think about how I mix colors. I always add the dark color to the light color, because a little tiny bit of my dark color makes a huge difference on my light color. If I was adding orange to my blue, I could add all day and it really wouldn't change my blue very much at all. So I'm going to start off with just painting my orange to get started because I want to start with that bright, intense orange. And I'm just going to kind of do like this circle radiating out from Spider-Man. So I'm just going to carefully paint, kind of like if I could imagine that there was a circle around him. I don't want to put on tons and tons of paint because you know, he is paper and he could get kind of warped and stuff like that. But see how I'm just painting right over the top of him? Now, it's time to change that intensity. So I'm going to pick up just a little tiny bit of that blue paint, not very much at all. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to mix it with all of my orange. I had too much orange in there to mix it all. So it hasn't really, doesn't really look like it's changed the orange that much. I don't know if you can see it or not. It just looks a little bit darker. You'll see it more though when it dries. Okay? Because I'm just changing that intensity and I don't want to end up with a really nasty orange in the end. So now that I have that, I'm just going to come out here and I'm just going to paint a little bit more. Just that little bit darker of an intensity. Again, when I'm not putting a ton of paint on my brush, it dries pretty quick and I can mix those colors together. Remember that when I'm changing intensity, the whole picture is still going to be orange. It's just going to go from that bright, bright orange to a little bit darker of an orange. I'm ready to do it again. So I pick up another little bit of blue and I mix that in with that orange again. mixing all that together and you can see it's still orange but it's just getting to be a little bit more of a dull orange again come back out here paint that some more Again, just painting right over the top of my spider-man to do it again so I'm gonna get some more orange or more blue sorry mix it in there again remember there's still orange at the very end it's just that it's not that intense orange it's a dull orange
Okay, do it again here. Getting just about to the end of this. Alright, so there is my Spider-Man, all painted on my orange piece of paper where my intensity is changing. Now, remember I used that repositionable tape, or glue stick, so I'm going to come back in here now and I'm going to peel up my Spider-Man and there is my negative shape of Spider-Man on my orange painting that changes in intensity.